This is the C3 News Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful creatures out there. I'm Khaleesi, and I'm ready to kick off the evening with you. I hope you enjoyed your day in the RC3 world, or maybe just started your day in the world and looking for some bits and pieces to discover. No worries, we will provide you with all that in just a few minutes. But firstly, someone really special sat down with us and we created a really cool interview. They became famous for the idea of what heck this year. You know, it's Lilith and Flipke and Flipke took some time to talk about just that. The stage is yours, Flipke. Um, welcome, Flipke, and thank you for taking the time. Um, you may quickly introduce yourself and then we will go on about the stuff that uh, made you certainly famous this year. Yeah, hi, I'm Flipke and I'm known from Twitter, maybe and I'm a security researcher. So taking software apart seems to be kind of your thing. So what happened with the ID wallet this year? Um, so this ID wallet thing was based on uh, blockchain technology and there was no reason to use a blockchain technology and that kind of triggered me to uh, take a closer look at it. At first, I wasn't really keen on taking apart the blockchain part of it. So I went the easy route and took a look at the infrastructure from the vendor, uh, which resulted in the vendor taking offline all of their infrastructure immediately. And uh, then later on, Lilith and me took a closer look at the actual blockchain technology and the ID wallet app. We did not discover a flaw in the blockchain technology, but we discovered a flaw in the um, algorithm or the procedures used for verifying uh, your identity. Good. So if the blockchain wasn't the problem, what was the problem with this ID wallet solution? So, the, first of all, one has to understand the procedure for verifying one's identity or driving license. The procedure uh, is as follows. You, um, oh, um, so first of all, one has to understand the procedures. If you have to verify your driving license, the police shows you a QR code, you scan the QR code, uh, your app says the police wants to see your driving license and you click accept. The problem is, Anyone can be the police. You can write arbitrary data into that QR code and it will get displayed in the app without being verified. So I could write, hello, I'm your airline. Please give me your passport details. And then you would leak your passport details uh, to me. And that is uh, a non-vulnerability that was um, previously reported by the BSE to the vendor, uh, the uh, Federal Office for IT Security in Germany. And the vendor didn't do anything, but went on with the release of the ID wallet app, which got eventually published to the app stores, but was uh, quickly depublished um, after the feedback from Lilith and me. All right. And then there was some aftermath and I heard something about people with hacking affinitäten. What happened there? So when I took a look at the infrastructure of the vendor, they quickly took all of their infrastructure offline and the vendor had to explain uh, what they did to the uh, Bundeskanzleramt. And in this letter, they accuse us to be a Zusammenrottung aus dem Kreise der politischen Gegner mit Hacking-Affinität. And I think that's quite funny, um, especially considering that they just took offline all of their infrastructure just because of someone shit posting and demonstrating a zone transfer and subdomain takeover and saying, oh, there's a MySQL uh, listening on the internet uh, probably belongs to your name server. All right. I think that sounds quite funny. <laughs> what would you give the... Um, okay. 
Okay, that sounds quite funny. <laughs> What would you tell the future Zusammenrottung mit hacking affinitäten on their way while um, like breaking things on the internet? Yeah, bildet Banden, BA Zusammenrottung, use Tor, encrypt your backups and yeah, stay safe. All right, great. Thank you, Flipke. Thanks. Thank you so much, Flipke, for taking the time and for all the work you do. I think it's certainly very important and with all the stuff going on at the moment, it's even more important. Like in every show, we also like to introduce one of our amazing chaos channels to you. And this time it's one of my personal favorite hacker spaces. It's an space station actually and I guess some of you might already know what I'm talking about of course it's the sea base Willkommen an Bord der sea base der Raumstation unter Berlin Mitte Wir haben hier drei Bühnen und ein Studio für euch aufgebaut und produzieren Vorträge das ganze findet unter 2G plus Bedingungen statt das heißt alle mitwirkenden müssen geimpft und täglich getestet sein wir produzieren ungefähr 30 Vorträge und sind 24 Stunden, vier Tage für euch da. Viel Spaß! Wow, that was most certainly amazing and there are still more amazing teams and channels coming your way. So stay tuned. And of course we send out our busy reporters just collecting really amazing stuff for you. And as they did last year, This year as well, the Hexen created a quite amazing assembly. But Einwickler prepared some insights for you. Hey Chaos Creatures, this time I'm visiting the Hexen assembly and it's really worth a visit. You can listen to some Hexen podcast, learn about important Hexen of history in the memorial, visit an exhibition about the life in the pandemic, Get yourself some book recommendations from the library. Hint, don't go into the furnace. Release your anger by writing it down for once. And finally find the treasure in the maze. You can find the assembly by using the solar island portal in the lobby. And it's right next to the ball pit. And as always, here's the fab plan for you. Let's have a look on the next four highlights of this evening on day three of our remote chaos experience. Looky, looky! Number one, IT security professionals at 8 p.m. on the Hexen stage. Yes, the panel on IT security professionals. What do they actually do all day? Why they are always so professionally annoyed? Is that still in scope? Join Lena, Marin, Caro, Lisa and Christiana talking about everyday life in our IT security world. Afterwards, they will be available in a short Q&A and therefore you can join the big blue button room after the panel. Watch out at 8 p.m. at the Hexen stage. Two. At 8 p.m. at the Chaos Zone TV, there is Inside Bundestag with Anke Dolpscheidsberg. She gives us an insight into her past four years in her work as a member of the German Bundestag. She will also talk about the topics she has covered during this time in German Parliament, how it works under normal conditions and how it adapted to the pandemic. Join Anke for your awesome talk at Chaos Zone. Three, the informatics live band. Yeah, where is the band? Right, on the C3 launch at eight o'clock, there is a nerd punk rock and roll band called The Informatics. Tune in and let's rock together. <laughs> Number four, at the Franconia stage at 9 p.m. 
Yeah, how bad digitalization is in Germany, you ask? Hmm, our education system in times of Corona is therefore a very good example. Hmm. As we all know, a shitty process is after digitalization still a digital shitty process. Yeah, so let's have a look. Will there be hope if we use the lessons learned? Yes. Therefore, watch at 9 p.m. the Franconia stage. This were four examples of the very good program. But as you know, you can choose between all these other nice talks from the Fahrplan. So choose wisely. Otherwise, you can look everything at media.ccc.de. Back to the news show. That's it for tonight's show. Thank you so much. And there is still time to grab the ingredients for the cocktail for tonight's show. We will tweet them soon. And yeah, enjoy the night and see you soon at 2400.